In this video, we're going to take a look at a few things from our Ableton Live 11 Lite tutorial. Balancing and mixing in Live 11 Lite is really straightforward. You've probably already spotted that levels, pans and sends can be adjusted in either session or arrangement views. Use whichever suits the task. In session view, you can also fold open instruments or racks with multiple chains. For us, this applies to our Coral Kit track. In its track title bar, click on the circle triangle. This reveals all the sounds in the drum instrument so we can adjust them independently. The first thing we're going to do is adjust down to minus 5 dB the level of the open hi-hat. The other thing we can do via multiple chains is process and modify the individual sounds of the instrument. Here we're adding the channel EQ just to the snare. Scooping out at about 800 Hz and boosting the low shelf. We've also adjusted the sample length to make it shorter and added a 157 millisecond fade out. Now use the same technique to add a compressor to the kick. We've chosen the generic compressor preset from the Dynamics folder. setting the ratio at 3 to 1 with auto release and the threshold at minus 17 dB. This brings up the noise and flavour of the kick sample, but we've also trimmed the sample end to keep it tidy. To really finesse a track, we usually need to use some automation. Arrangement view is particularly well suited to automation, as we can have multiple parameter lanes open in each track, so it's easy to see what's happening. To activate automation, click on the icon next to the padlock at the top of the track headers. Once automation is active, you'll see a drop down menu on each track header. This is the automation control chooser and includes all the automatable parameters for the track. Initially, we just need the level and send parameters, which you'll find in the mixer entry in this list. Our first job is to adjust the volume level of the string in the drop-down section. On the string track, use the control chooser to select mixer and then track volume from the list. You should now have a dotted line in the arrangement area for volume. You can simply click on this line and create individual breakpoints to adjust the volume automation. But a much quicker option is to select the clip and use the context sensitive arrows. We've grabbed the middle arrow and reduced the string level consistently through the drop section. 